All right, uh, this section uh, 7.3 uh, is our introduction uh, to probability. So, uh, some terms that we want to look at here really quickly. Um, all right, how about uh, we find a probability? By dividing a number um, by another. Um, probabilities are assigned. To an event uh, and events that are certain to occur are assigned a probability of one, or in other words, 100%. And if an event cannot occur, its probability is zero. So we see that probabilities of events are expressed as numbers that range from 0 to 1. Or uh, percentages that range from zero percent to a hundred percent, and the closer. the probability of a given event is one, the more likely it is to occur and the closer the probability is to zero the less likely it is to occur uh, so, important information when we're looking at uh, probabilities. Uh, once again, uh, let's go through this again. A lot of a lot of terminology to understand. Uh, how about the beginning? We find a probability by dividing a number by another number, right? So, in order to find probabilities, we're just dividing, right? Very important to understand that division is going to occur. Uh, probabilities are assigned to events, right? Uh, we've heard this before. What's the probability of um, winning the lottery, right? Or the probability of getting struck by lightning, right? Probabilities are assigned to an event. Uh, events that are certain to occur are assigned a probability of one 
or 100%. Uh, what's the probability of you um, going to class, right? That should be 100% or 1%. Uh, if an event cannot occur, its probability is zero, right? Um, the probability of... Sometimes we could say the probability of winning the lottery is very, very low, right? Um, maybe like 0.001%. So um, maybe that would be a good example. Um, probability of events. So we see the probabilities can be expressed as numbers or percentages. Uh, notice that it's a number from 0 to 1 or percent from 0% to 100%. So they always be from 0 to 1, always from 0 to 1. Um, so if you're doing this math and you get something like 4, 5, or 6, or negative 3, something went wrong because it should be 0 to 1. And numbers between 0 to 1 are decimals and improper, or, uh, improper fractions. I'm sorry, proper fractions. Okay, uh, and the closer, we mentioned before, the closer it's to 1, the more likely it's going to occur. The closer it's to 0, the less likely it's going to occur. Um, so all important things of probabilities. Uh, once again, uh, this is the star here, the big one, um, right? Uh, we find them by dividing a number by another number. Um, so what we can say is the uh, probability of an event, once again, division, um, we take a look at uh, the total possible outcomes. And then we look at the number of outcomes of the event that we're measuring. Uh, but we can use symbols for this instead of all these words. We can say the probability of, let's just say, event E equals the bottom Total possible number of outcomes could just be a lowercase n, open parentheses, s, close parentheses. Uh, the number of outcomes of, of that event, we could say n, open parentheses, e, right? Uh, so this is how we can find our uh, probability of events. <clears throat> uh, so let's take a look at some examples here. Uh, we'll take a look at some nice examples. Let's um, say that a single die is rolled. Uh, we're going to find a few probabilities. Let's find the probability of rolling. How about we start with just roll, getting a three? Right, um, so first we need to know the total outcomes. All right, what are all the total outcomes? All right, let's take a look at this in set notation. All right, so you roll a die and you can get a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, over six. All right, so we can get, looks like there's a total of six numbers. All right, so we want to know what the probability of getting the three. Well, there's a total of six different numbers, but how many threes do we have? It looks like we just have one three, right? Just one, so that goes at the top. And if I wanted it as a fraction, this is my answer in a fraction in lowest terms. So the probability of rolling a three is just one over six. All right, example B. How about of rolling uh, an even number? 
right? So the probability of getting an even number. Once again, we know that there's six outcomes. Well, how many even numbers are there? All right, once again, our set is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Our evens, how many do we have in total? We have three of them. So it's three over six, and that reduces to one over two. Uh, example C, the probability of getting a number less than five. Once again, we have probability. Uh, we want a number less than five. Well, we have six numbers. How many of these are less than five? Once again, this is your set. Well, less, than, less than five, so it would just be four of them that are less than five. And we reduce that to a two over three. Uh, how about one last example? What's the probability of getting a number greater than six? Right, so we want the pr probability of a number greater than six. So we have six total outcomes. How many of those numbers are greater than six? Zero, right? So this just gives us zero as our answer. Uh, so a nice example of um, uh, working with the die. Uh, another way that we can take a look at it though, right? Um, how about we have a deck of cards instead? All right. Um, so you are dealt one card from a standard 52 card deck. Find the probability of being dealt Let's go with a king. Well, um, we have, we're looking for the probability of getting a king. Uh, how many cards do we have in total? We have 52 total cards. So the question is how many kings are in the deck, right? Um, a deck has four kings, All right? So we put that four on the top. Uh, re we reduce this fraction, and we get one over 13. Uh, how about our next example? What's the probability of getting a heart? All right, so we want the probability of getting a heart. Once again, we know 52 cards in a deck. How many hearts, right? Well, there are 13 hearts in a deck, all right? So that number goes on the top. Uh, we reduce this, and it gives us 1 over 4. Um, so uh, knowing some information about cards is going to be really important to this um, assignment. And how about one last one? What's the probability of getting? Um, let's see. I can pull a nice problem up from your homework. Uh, how about the probability of getting a spade or a Ten, right? A spade or a ten. So let's take a look here. We want the probability of getting a spade or a ten. Well, 
how many spades are in a deck. Uh, spades, there is um, 13 spades in a deck. Uh, how about 10? Uh, there is a total of four tens in a deck. Right? So what do we get here? Uh, if we add the 13 plus the 4, that gives us, what, a 17. But we need to subtract one of them. We need to subtract the 1. Um, because these 13 spades includes a 10. And these four tens includes a spade. So we don't want to repeat that. That's why we have to subtract one. So we have a total of 16 instead. So this probability would be 16 on the top. All right, with our 52 cards in the bottom, which reduces to a four over 13. Uh, so some nice examples from this 